All right, what's up, wrestling fans? How's everybody doing today? SmackDown is tonight. Rumors are flying around about Charlotte. Charlotte Flair. The rumors about Charlotte. Some reason Ronda Rousey is trending. Probably has something to do with, uh, I don't know, the women's magazine thing. You know, I'm not really sure. But, um... Yeah, it's tr it's trending because uh, Ronda Rousey' uh, great grandfather was Dr. Alfred uh, Waddell. I don't know that name. So I guess she's black. So Ronda Rousey is black, I guess. Ronda Rousey is really the first black woman to main event Mania. Bianca and Sasha are rethinking that right now. It says a lot of people. And I mean, there's just memes everywhere about Ronda Rousey right now because apparently Ronda Rousey is actually black. Which is crazy. So, um, you know, there's a lot of controversy right now about who uh, <laughs> who actually has main evented WrestleMania. But, uh, I mean, come on. We're going <laughs> to... People are memeing this all over Twitter right now. We're going to have another racial draft, potentially. I mean, we all looked it up the other day. We looked up at my ancestry, right? We found out that I'm from 1% is from Chad or something like that. I'm from Chad, Africa. Do you know that? I'm super pale. Super pa I mean, we all come from Africa anyway. But, I mean, I'm super pale. Look at me. But there's a little part of me at one point that was in Chad, Africa. And, of course, I would be from the whitest sounding place in Africa. <laughs> Chad. Where are you from? I'm from friggin' Nigeria. I'm from Bungamugu. I'm from Nigeria. I'm from, name some other name in Africa. I don't know. Things that I can't pronounce. But no, I'm from Chad. Yeah, I'm the douchebag in California surfing. Great. I'm from that place in Africa. Chad? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand it, man. <laughs> I just... But anyway, uh, Ronda Rousey making the news. A lot of people, you know, I mean, it could have been Ethiopia. Could have been could have been somewhere in the Congo. Could have been anywhere. Nigeria. Nope. Chad. Uh, Sudan. Uh, but anyway, whatever. So the point is, Ronda Rousey, yeah, that's, that's going on everywhere. That's just, it's going crazy right now. Ronda Rousey says, you know, great-grandfather, black. Okay. So she was the first one. So she's going to take away from Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks and uh, people so b angry about that. I don't even, whatever, who cares? The bottom line is let's move on to the other stuff. Andrade says that he's in talks. Uh, people from Ring of Honor are saying he's coming to Ring of Honor. He does not have a no 90-day no-compete clause, they're saying. So, I mean, cool for Ring of Honor, I guess, to make some kind of news headlines because I'm pretty sure the show with Nick Houseman that Andrade was being talked about on, the show about them talking about him coming to Ring of Honor probably is going to get more views than Ring of Honor does. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Could he go to Impact? That was one of my guesses, that maybe he'll go to Impact. You know? You know, first, and, and then people like AEW will have to see if they ever want to get involved with that or, or whatever. But there's just no stars anyway, because people coming out of the WWE aren't stars anymore. They're just broken down used items that were used improperly. Broken down, improperly used items. That's what they are. I did not see this Ronda Rousey stuff coming today. I got to be honest. It threw me off. Right as I started the show, I saw all the news on it. Um, then Bret Hart talks about WWE should have banned slapping years ago. You know, I'm not for banning it. I'm just for like, you know, you shouldn't be doing it every second in every way you can, you know. There's just too much of it, I guess, going on. But honestly, who gives a shit? I mean, my problem is the punches don't look real. The kicks, the punches, everything doesn't look real. It's really bad. It used to be really good. Guys would fire off shots that were like, they look devastating and they look powerful. Now the punches are just these little tap and tap and tap and then these just soft. It's just really bad. It's, the, it's bad. You know, it's just, I don't understand I don't understand what goes on nowadays with that stuff. I'm not really sure. I don't understand it. He said, I heard a few days ago they outlawed or banned. Uh, nobody's allowed to do slap stuff anymore. And then Bret Hart said, um, 
revealed it was it wasn't so much the act itself uh, rather it was a slap being used in unnecessary situations that's what i'm saying uh they should have stopped it years ago and then he says bret hart says my brother owen was one of the guys that started all that oh really <laughs> it's always a bret hart hart recalled he was one of the best at slapping his leg and spin kicking and stuff like that. But come on, enough is enough in every match. You see guys do that stuff and you're going, that wouldn't even make a slap sound when you punch somebody in the jaw. It's not a slap sound. Yeah, I mean, he's, I mean, he's right about that. It's a different kind of sound that you're making a slap sound for everything. Um, Every single move you do is a slap sound. Uh, I'm glad they're putting their foot down on that, but they're like 10 years late. They already know the kind... They've already kind of, in a lot of ways, sadly ruined wrestling by making it so fake, says Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when every wrestler talks about wrestling being fake, when every wrestler talks about it being a work, when every wrestler exposes everything they ever did and everything that ever happens, and... When the wrestling company itself is putting out major shows that are more interesting about the behind the scenes than actually what happens on the product, then yeah, you're going to have a bad time. Wrestling is going to diminish, you know, and when you make it be so PG, it's going to diminish. And when you really, the big problem is how bad the scripting is. It's so bad. We, we could go over this a million times. It's the same thing every week. It's the same complaint every week. It just gets worse and worse and worse. Too scripted, too stupid. The same match four times leading up to the pay per view where the last match happens. It's like back in the day you'd have like a you'd have like a maybe one match or like a several fights before the match happened, and then maybe you'd have two more matches at two more pay per views or big events for like a rubber match. You know, three matches, the blow off match. Nowadays you have you end up having four, five, six matches with the guys before it gets to their pay per view match, and they all happen on TV. And most of them just all feel the same, 7 out of 10 match, and then they have a 7 out of 10 pay-per-view match. And you're left with, like, well, what the hell was so exciting about that? And that's exactly what WWE does every single time. Every week. It's just a bore. Tonight's SmackDown. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. A lot of rumors about Charlotte. But whatever. You know, I'm not even... Nothing interests me anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me that much. Couldn't give a crap. But, hey, maybe Charlotte will end up being uh, Hispanic. Maybe that's why she's dating everybody, that, whatever. Maybe Charlotte's really Hispanic and maybe Ronda Rousey is black now. You know, I'm not really sure. Anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Leave in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like and stick the thumb up my ass. you got to subscribe for the Daily Wrestling News videos and everything I'm going to put out and give to you and everything I'm going to talk about tomorrow. I mean, you don't want to miss this stuff. Plus, I'm live after almost every single WWE pay-per-view and event and everything, except probably not after SmackDown tonight, but pretty much everything else since 2012 here on YouTube. It's the Joe Cronin Show. I hope you guys sub, and I hope you guys check out Patreon because episode uh, 23, part 2, just went up a few minutes ago of uh, Drew's Off the Rails with Jesse, j -Man, and Drew. Check it out and more on the Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Thanks so much, and shout-out to the producers, brother. We'll see you guys later.